They'll be calling you a radical. This is for Thomas Ackerman. First, I'm like, I was kind of depressed, kind of bummed out today about a few things, but then I got home and I was thinking, I really need to read this. I should have read this online a long, long time ago. It says everything about nuclear, everything. And I'm like, God, I really need to do it. Right as I was thinking, I've got to read this now. I've got to get this up now. I should have done this a long time ago. Knock on the door. It was my mail lady. And one of you beautiful, great community that we have out there who actually had a soul and cared sent me this great, how exciting, very excited to know that her people, they understand, he understands my situation. I think a lot of you do is when I go off on America, I go off in the aggregate. There are so many strong, powerful individuals out there, I know that. But we're just so outnumbered by ignorance and apathy and cowards. I want to read this as the truth about Fukushima. As the IAEA has used a propaganda machine on the United States, let's talk about the rest of the world. Let's talk about the reality. The reality of the countries who never went nuclear. The countries that have freaking made, realized their mistake and gone anti-nuclear, they try to grandstand and posture, even in Germany. And I'm going to talk about the truth. Nuclear's fucking done. And I'm going to talk about the people of faith, the true Christians, the people that do not participate in usury. There are plenty of them out there, not here in the United States. The United States is land of the fake masquerading, masquerading, maraudering, murdering Christians, the crusaders from hell, the devils in hairsprays. They claim to be Christians. They are not Christians. I want to read this. I should have read this a long time ago. This is from a group of religious faith organization. I'll post the link right here. As they organized in Japan and issued this statement. I think this paragraph right here, as I tagged it, says everything you need to know about Fukushima. Everything. Everything. As one Buddhist priest observed, Fukushima has become a place where those suffering inflict pain on each other. Fukushima is crying out. The land and sky are weeping. Please listen to the voice of Fukushima. Please listen to the cries of the lives of the children who are silent. Moved to sober reflection by our experience of the effects of nuclear power and radiation contamination, we prayfully reaffirm the sanctity of life and hereby issue this declaration. Those participating who also attended in 2011 the third Asian inter-religious conference of Article 9 in Okinawa noted some common elements uniting the suffering residents of Okinawa and Fukushima Prefecture, especially discrimination and the violation of human rights. These include the low priority placed on livelihoods of residents and the integrity of creation, the inadequate compensation offered to individuals and families injured by government and corporate decisions, the disruption of communities, and the relationship of nuclear power to nuclear weapons. We also perceive the collusion of government, military, business, and media to promote nuclear power and military bases as beneficial to human beings, which the experience of people in Okinawa and Fukushima contradicts. Our experience in Okinawa and Fukushima further emphasize anew that all life is sacred. I would like to add to that in Utah too, Nevada test site. Based on our research and experience, we conclude there is no safe use of nuclear power, no safe level exposure to radiation, and no compatible between nuclear power and life and peace. Nuclear weapons and nuclear power are two sides of the same coin, developed and promoted by a political, military, and economic complex for its own benefit. Government, the military, and business develop nuclear power for the purposes of war making without regard to life and integrity of all creation. Nations which have developed nuclear power but for force war nuclear arms, disarmation, and the arrogance to believe that they could dominate nature and natural forces in country after country. The construction of nuclear power generated facilities, let alone the creation and maintenance of stockpiles of nuclear weapons, has consumed vast amounts of money, which could have been used to serve human needs. Damage for tens of thousands of years the environment cause death and disease among human beings, animals, and plants, cause changes in human, animal, and plant DNA, place populations at risk from nuclear attack by state and non-state actors, and arrogant to imperfect human beings' decisions that determine the life and death of human and natural communities. We are newly re reminded that all humans make mistakes, but too oft often 
Those who benefit ignore our failure to learn from those mistakes. As people of faith, we commit to care for life, unreservably, to protect all life, and to speak the truth and break down misleading myths about nuclear power and nuclear issues to our own communities. And with one voice to all people, we do so while alternatively and respectfully listen to those who suffer most directly the consequences of nuclear accidents. Indeed, we commit to stand with those who suffer, whether they may be and act in unison with them to address the injustice done to them by denying the right to live in peace and justice. We further commit to monitor the movement of radiation, radioactive materials by governments and business and to sound the alarm against passing on the problem of nuclear waste disposable, marginalizing communities, non-nuclear nations, and future generations. It says it all. It's beautiful. I can't believe I didn't find it before. You're not Christians here. Well, you're not any person of faith here in the United States. Joe, you people, mega church, freaking pastors, you people, you Mormons, or whatever, you preach freaking negativity, and you teach anti freaking any ism faith, any true logical faith, any true life experience from the pulpit as kill, kill. You are asymmetric, you are devils in hairspray, masquerading, mass murdering marauders. That's what the Mormons are, that's what the evangelicals are, that's what all of America is. All of you, all of you in the aggregate. You are not, there are plenty of people, and I want to talk about the truth about nuclear. I see people come from me from G Germany. I was involved, I was a consultant with the German government when they decided to take their nuclear reactors off. They've done it, they've done it. And I will post this, what Angela Merkel said, also, right here, I want to read this. So don't twist, oh, we, we're going to import nuclear power from other countries. Bullshit. It's not true. Ah! This is a process. It takes time to decommission these things. And it takes much, much less money as Germany has proven it. Find the March 2011 Fukushima nuclear disaster. Germany was permanently shut down eight of its reactors and pledged to close the rest by 2022. The Italians have voted overwhelmed to keep their country non-nuclear. Switzerland and Spain have banned the construction of new reactors. Giant Japan's prime minister has called for dramatic reduction in Japan's reliance on nuclear power. Yeah, I know, you're going to say that was the old prime minister, but their people have spoken. I mean, it's just GE and Westinghouse. Taiwan's president did the same. Mexico has sidelined construction of 10 reactors in favor of developing natural gas fired plants. Belgium is considering phasing out its nuclear plants. Perhaps as early as 2015, as of November 2011, countries as Australia, Austria, Denmark, Greece, Ireland, Italy, La Vida, Liechtenstein, Luxembourg, Malta, Portugal, Israel, Malaysia, New Zealand, and Norway have no nuclear power plants and remain opposed to nuclear power. However, by contrast, some countries remain in favor of financial support nuclear fission research, including EU-wide funded of the ITER project. On May 30, 2011, Germany formally announced plans to abandon nuclear energy complete with 11 years. That plan included the immediate permanent closure of six nuclear power plants and had temporarily shut down for testing in March 2011, and two more that had been offline for years with technical problems. The remaining nine plants will be shut down between now and 2022. The announcement was first made by Norbert Rothgon, head of the Federal Ministry of Environment, Natural Conservation and nuclear safety after late night talks. Chancellor Angela Merkel said the phasing out of plants previously scheduled to go offline as late as 2036 would give Germany a competitive advantage in the renewable energy era starting as the first big industrial nation we can achieve such a transformation toward efficiency and renewable energies with all opportunities that bring for exports, develop new technology and jobs. Merkel also pointed to Japan's helplessness, despite being an industrialized, technology-advanced nation in the face of a nuclear disaster. There is no answers. If TEFCO doesn't prove you, and in the United States, we've gone all in nuclear. And I want to talk to this. This is for Thomas Ackerman. I want to talk about how publishing literature has been kidnapped. As has been said for years, literature only changes things around the edges. Literature changes things at the core. As the 9-11, what was 9-11? What was it? Simply... Muhammad Atta read Tom Clancy's novel. Well, that's all it was. That's simply, and we, people take advantage of situations, manipulate, twist. As Obama has went all in nuclear, as EPA, Gina McCarthy, Radnaff failed. Remember this, Obama has signed the very thing that he vetoed, his first action in office. He put a line through reducing the, or the legal limit as from one in 10,000 to one in 23, the cancer, 
rates legally. Remember, this is the attorney in him. He's getting ready for mitigation. There is no doubt. He signed it, the very thing he did. They increased the legal amounts of radiation in the atmosphere 27,000 times. Why? That's the attorney in him. They're preparing for mitigation. He's seen the same studies I've seen. I have the Cal Berkeley hard draft. I have it. I've had it for over a year. I have it in my possession. I've been arguing with him, put it out, put it out. They're under pressure, showing plutonium. He knows, as RADNET did not work. RADNET, what, you, people don't even know what RADNET was. Gina MacArthur was head of RADNET. That's a radiation detective network in the United States. The radiation detective network we spent billions on just magically failed when Fukushima happened. So she, and I'm speaking from the Inspector General's report who went off on Gina McCarthy. I mean, a scaling report. She gets rewarded for failure. She's the head of the new EPA. And right as she's the head of the new EPA, not only that, and Ernest, the new energy secretary, they're pro-nuclear, pro, -nuclear, pro -nuclear. The rest of the world is gone with nuclear. There's these beautiful, smart minds in these communities all over Europe, all over the world, said no to nuclear a long time ago. And even if Germany, as they tried to compete in just they've said no. And people try to twist, oh, we're just importing nuclear energy. That's bullshit. Over time, yeah, Switzerland. Let's talk about the G8, the industrial G8, the original G8. Germany says, fuck nuclear, no more. Switzerland's saying it. You know, just because we make mistakes in the past does not mean we cannot try to fix it. Now, nuclear fallout in the average, we can, that's the only one you cannot fix. Prepare for cancer, as this will kill so many people. This is the attorney, as Malcolm Gladwell, supposedly the great writer. I told somebody a long time ago, I was in Manhattan, he said, let's go and see my I said, I'll spit in his face. Outliners is the most pathetic written book I've ever seen. Those, none of those oligarchs. Then it was exposed by the brilliant group who's been working of that. He's been funded by Philip Morris from day one. That's who we are in America. Just like the freaking Google search engines replaces it. Eric Lax and his partners report over and over. They time it. Every time there's a report, as Janet broke ranks at Cal Berkeley and produced her work showing 28% increase in children's thyroids, which is dramatic because that's bigger than Chernobyl first two years. This tells the hotel when Obama, 27th signs that he knows. He knows. He's seen the same things that I've seen. He knows they can only hide him so long. And speaking of the religious leaders,